What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time, welcome to the channel. So a couple months ago, I put um, headers on the Trans Am that you see here behind me, and um, if you didn't catch that video, it's kind of a how-to video on how to put headers on one of these cars. I'll list a link up here above, but I really didn't care for the fitment. There were some relatively cheap headers that I had laying around. I bought on Craigslist a long time ago and bought a Texas Speed Y pipe to mate up with them, and I just didn't really care for the fitment. So. Um, what I did was I found another set. I'm gonna use a set of speed engineering headers. I've been hearing some really good things about that. And uh, the other set was inch and three quarters. These are inch and seven eighths that I'm gonna be putting on. And uh, I generally don't cheap out on this stuff, but because I thought I'd put a turbo kit on this car down the road, I thought, man, I really don't wanna spend the thousand dollars that the American Racing or Cooks, you know, kind of that price tag that they carry. So I've decided to use these speed engineering ones. And so I'm gonna kind of show you a kind of a quick how-to um, or how they fit, and then I'll show you some sound clips at the end to, so you can hear the differences between the two. So uh, let's get into the car and I'll show you exactly uh, what I didn't like about the old ones. So some of my biggest issues are hitting the floor. Now that's pretty common, and you can see that I wrapped it and I used a piece of coolant hose um, to keep it from making noise up against the floor. Now, that's not the best fix, and that's not the biggest issue that I'm running into. What's happening is it's rattling up here. Um, I'm not real happy with the mounts um, or where this is mounting. The other thing is, if you notice, the Y pipe needs to come up further, and this is as far as it goes. So this is a Texas Speed Y pipe. Not real sure on the brand of headers. They are stainless, but I'm gonna be getting rid of all of this and going with that speed engineering. Now these are inch and three quarter primary and um, three inch Y pipe. The ones that I purchased are inch and seven eighths, so it is gonna be a little bigger and there might require some other things up top, which I will show you, but I'm just gonna kind of show you a time lapse of me removing this stuff and then I will show you a time lapse of the new, unless I run into some issues or there's additional things that I didn't show you in the how-to video. So what I've done after I took the Y pipe completely off, and I used a rubber mallet as you can see in the video, but once it's off, I used a couple bungee cords, um, one here in front and one behind because I'm gonna lower the car down on the lift and um, take the headers loose at the top and I don't just want them falling out on the ground. So that's gonna kinda help keep them in place. Um, it's not gonna keep them from completely falling out. They might still fall out, but at least it'll keep it kinda up in, in the position to where I can get back down here and then thread them out from the bottom side.
right, so just like that, the old ones are out. And a pretty easy process, to be honest with you. So we're gonna start that process of putting the new ones in. And uh, I'll let you know during the video if I run into anything. Um, some people say you gotta loosen the um, steering shaft. So we'll see on those inch and seven eighths if they need a little more room to go in. But let's get started putting those in. So here are the new ones that we're putting in. Like I said, they're inch and seven eighths. So I tried to thread it up in and you are gonna have to take the steering um, shaft out. Uh, you probably don't have to take it out, but you are gonna have to take it loose. So there is an 11 millimeter. Let's see if I can hold the camera and show you. Um, right here, there's an 11 millimeter. Once we take that out, we can slide it back and get this out of the way and then we can thread that header up into place. So once you get that one out, you also need to take this one out here, um, just another 11 millimeter, and you can access it from the front or the back side here, but you do have enough room. And then that'll get that arm completely out of the way so we can get the header into place. Once the headers are up in there, and you can see I supported them with that bungee cord on the bottom again just to keep them from falling out of the bottom. I'm going to lift them up, put the gaskets in place, and it's just the reverse process. The only difference is um, you're going to have to hook that steering shaft back up and try not to move your steering wheel around. Try to keep it in the same spot, but we're going to have to hook it up when we get all finished. But we're going to go ahead and put the gaskets in and basically go through the opposite process. These weren't too bad to put in other than that. The passenger side slid right in as you could see. So let's get started putting this back together. So I got it all tightened up up top and I wanted to show you guys one of the issues I think we're gonna have and you can see the K member is touching right here. So I'm gonna loosen those back up on this side. The other side looks fine, but on this side I'm gonna loosen it up and I'm gonna clearance that just a little. So I am gonna mark it, but I don't think I'm gonna have to take it completely out. What I'm gonna do is just loosen it up where the header can push towards the um, or the bottom of the header can push towards the oil pan and then I'll be able to just dremel that section out. But all in all, the fitment is pretty good on these things. Um, I don't have any other spots where I think I'm gonna have any clearance issues. So I'm gonna push it back down uh, or let the lift back down and uh, dremel that piece off and then tighten it back up again. Remember 11 foot pounds the first pass, 18 the second pass. Once we get the uh, piece trim down below, like what I was talking about, I'm going to go ahead and put the spark plugs back in. And um, after I put the spark plugs back in, then we'll look at hooking back up that um, steering shaft that I took off. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like um, after I clearance that. I did have to take quite a bit off, but um, it's not rubbing anymore. Like I said, it's not rubbing in any other spots. The next thing I did was I dropped the dipstick tube back in. You can see. Uh, the fill check right there um, Right behind the starter get it back into place and everything else. I'm going to just have it as a time-lapse
So once you get the steering shaft back into place, you need to tighten those bolts. Now I had to take the whole thing out so the bottom one and the top one both get 35 foot-pounds of torque. The only thing I have left to do really is uh, I'm just doing some cleaning, but um, I do need to tie up my uh, O2 sensors here and uh, hook up the battery. But everything else is complete. Uh, it seems to fit pretty well, other than that spot that I had to cut a little bit on. Um, other than that, you cannot reuse the uh, plate here that goes, like at the transmission tunnel here, you can't reuse that with this particular Y pipe. But uh, we'll button it up and then we'll get a sound difference. So as you can tell from the sound clips, it sounds pretty close. Um, tried to put the car in the same exact spot so you guys could get you know, a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Um, I actually think that the new ones, the speed engineering ones, are a little quieter than the older ones that I had. And uh, going down the road, there's no banging or noises. Uh, it's not hitting on anything. So really, really like the uh, quality of these headers. They are made really well. And like I said, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on like an American Racing or um, Cook's headers on this car because I really think down the road I'll be doing a turbo kit and all this stuff is going to be coming off. So hopefully uh, it was informative. If you guys are thinking about doing these speed engineering headers, I would definitely recommend them. And uh, of course, if you like this video, guys, please smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe. Uh, we do stuff like this all the time and uh, I always take your suggestions. So if you guys have an idea for another video you'd like to see on this car or um, something down the road, please drop a comment down below or uh, hit me up on Instagram. It's TW Motorsports, or you can email me with any questions or, or ideas at TW Motorsports at Hotmail.com. Make sure you stay tuned so you see what we do next.